What's going on y'all? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel here. You already know what's going on. We're down here on Comodero and this morning I'm back fishing with Denny. Denny's been on some big ones this week. Had a phenomenal day with Flair. You guys need to go check out Flair's day. Where What did y'all catch? Like 45 pounds for your best five? five three, yeah. And then like the next best five were like 38 or Over something like that. So just crazy. Anyway, today's video is brought to you by Free Range. Make sure you go check them out at some point during this video. Delicious coffee. Got just that free range attitude here in the wilderness. Ain't no planes flying around. We're just out here in the good old fashioned outdoors. Let's go check them out, y'all. And let's get to it. Let's get down to it. Let's catch some big ones. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Ooh, baby. You get paid your fish. Danny breaking the ice with a Mondo. Oh, that's a good way to start the old day. Golly. Yeah. This boy in America. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, Denny. I'm talking. Little one? Mm -hmm. Okay, I won't get too excited. No, it was a. Uh, only one? Two. One. So I think what? No tilapia, I'll tell you that. No, tilapia, no. Yep. Hurry. Good job. You showed him who was boss. Hey, I mean, might as well throw it back in there and stick him. Cool. There, let me give him a give him a kiss. For good luck. We started running out to deep water at first. I was like, uh oh. So one on a jig and one on a spinner bait. We got it figured out now. <laughs> <laughs> New plastico? Yep. Nuevo plastico. Si. Yeah. Got him. Good one. Here, net. When Denny says it's a good one, it's a gosh dang good one. yip That's a fat one too. 7-Eleven. 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 All right. Oh, it came off. Dang it. Yes, it was dandy. Mazelon Sunday? I think so. Oh, daggum, that's a tree. There he was. Just a little one. Bonito. Yep. Just had one jump the line on my jig here. Yep. Appears to be a good one. The old Mondo on the jig. Nice. Yes, sir. Boy, I like getting a jig by. Man, that fish took off running. Seven? Yeah, probably seven. We'll call it seven. Whew. Boom. Throw in the jig. One ounce. Okay, this thing is a big jig. I like throwing three quarters ounce a lot. I haven't really thrown a one ounce a ton unless I'm just going through grass. But out here, these bushes are so nasty. You got to have yourself a one ounce right here. This one right here is a uh, Strike King Hack Attack. Rage Craw Trailer. I'm putting the whole thing on here because we're in big dog territory. Just about an inch. Just so it goes up, just right on the hook. And those tails are gonna kick nice and evenly. Cut a little bit off the skirt, just to give it a little bit more flare down there. And then we're putting that on 65 pound Seaguar, Diddy Browers Edition braid. A heavy action. 7.6, heavy, big, sexy, and I got a high speed gear, gear ratio reel on there. I'm just flipping. He's throwing a spinner bait right now. Caught a couple of real nice fish. This right here looks like a tilapia in the water. This this color right here on the J is called blue craw. Isn't that blue craw, Denny? Blue craw. blue craw, it's got like a nice bluish sheen to it. So when the sun hits it, it gives that nice little aqua blue reflection. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. 
He hit it like a ton of bricks. <laughs> Tried to miss my spinner bait out. Three. Six, six three. five. Six five? Mm -hmm. Tells you what I know. All these fish have been a little bit bigger than yeah. what we think. Just chunked up. See ya, sugar. A bit That's the third good one that Denny's had on that spinner bait. I tell you, that spinner bait this week has just been. It's been the ticket for a lot of big fish. I think almost all the big bass have come on that. You might be asking, why aren't I throwing that spinner bait right now? Well, I like to get a jig by it too, and I know it'll catch a big one. And there's really good brush right here. We're basically, Denny's throwing up the brush, fishing on the outside line a little bit, and then I'm going up in the brush, kind of fishing more of the bottom. So some of these fish have been suspended. Yesterday was a really good low pressure day. The fish, I think, came up a little bit shallower. They were very aggressive today bright sun might be a little bit different so we're gonna keep experimenting and see what works best I think that just made me want to put down my jig nice. <laughs> six zero a little fish he got me need some of that yellow sauce too put a little special sauce on it Oh, daggum. Just melted a pincher off. Golly. Little turds. An episode of Pros versus Joes back here. All right, so Denny's got 14. I've got none. That's what you get when you try to flip behind this man. Oh, no way. Just broke your line? Broke it? Oh, there he is. You see? That's <laughs> so funny. Because I would have gone in saying, Daddy broke off a jar. <sighs> Lost him. Ooh. Jig fish. What are you doing eating a one ounce jig, sir? Oh, that's pretty. It's kind of like a copper color in him. Any tips, Denny? One thing I would suggest is don't go into the bush unnecessarily. Okay, because you're probably not going to get them out. Uh oh. Yep, it's a big one. Oh yeah, that's a fat one. Oh goodness. Oh yeah. Look how fat that fish is. That's a tub. God, he just stuck. He's got it down his throat too. Oh my gosh. That's yeah. a tubber. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! How fat that fish that is. That fish is wider way good go i mean that is a chunker golly look, look at, at that, that oh that my thing. gosh it's about 14 inches long and 19 <laughs> inches around if that fish was a little bit longer there'd be no doubt it would be an Maybe absolute been eating a whale go that's the fattest fish i've ever caught 22 inches long maybe could be less than that Look at the belly on this thing. 7-Eleven. 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 Jeez. All right, fish. It's time for you to go make some babies. That big old fat belly, look how wide that fish is. See you later. Uh-huh. Ice bite. That was cool, Denny. That was a good one. We busted them right off the bat on a main channel, uh, channel swing. Obviously, you popped a big fish right on the point of that channel swing, and we had about 40 foot of water right there. Now we've moved back into a side creek off the main channel, and I just don't think these fish have pulled back in here, especially the bigger fish. There's a few males, a lot of tilapia back here. So, I mean, you're subject to get a big bite anywhere, but I think your percentages lie right now with the fish just starting to come up, staying with the main channel and the points of the main channel. Well, 
spindly ones. Yeah, we get some pretty good bush flipping down there one time. There you go. Oh. That was a nice one. Yeah. <sighs> that was straight in there, oh. Denny. I didn't have an extra strategy, but I, I just went in there. All right, that was another good one in shallow water. I pulled up and I just felt squishy and I leaned in instead of... I saw it happen, but I wasn't going to say it. Okay. About your girly hook. It was a girly one. I was going to let you live with it on your own, but now that you went public with it... I, I did. It was... I'm going to back your story. It was pretty bad. I feel like a mechanic, you know, having to fix the little kid. Uh. Got that spinnerbait tied back on. We got a good old point out here, main lake. Just got some wind that came up. Just perfect, like a 10, 12 mile an hour wind. Just putting some wind on this point, flattens out. Denny said there's some big ones here. He had some big ones here yesterday, so. Hang on to your butts. This is a good one right here. This is a good one. Oh my gosh, I don't wanna. Oh, come on, baby. There we go. That baby had you just... Bowed over. Bowed up. Spinnerbait strikes again. Yeah, he fooled me. I'd have been even a lot bigger than that. I saw your face, and you looked a little more concerned on that one than I'd seen. I was, he had me for all I was worth. I was thinking of... A loggerhead was about to come up and just start. That's what I was thinking. Boom, boom. Those super knot head. Oh. You get your little spinner tickled. I don't know how the hell they they freaking missed that thing when they hit it that hard. It's like. What are you doing? Got him. Yep. I mean, he just smoked it. Got some good head shakes here. Uh, might be. Might be decent. Oh yeah, that's a big one. We have a big one. Hey, baby oh man when they hit that spinner bait it's just it's lights out that might be the biggest of the day you're saying six Denny get out of here <laughs> I'd be saying more if he was mine see eight two eight two eight two that's a dandy good you all right darling see you later bye bye Uh, uh. <laughs> there you thank go. You, thank you. Okay. Oh, your hat. We can't forget your hat. Damn. <laughs> oh, no so sorry. Sorry, Diego. No way, no way. Is that is that your first time going in? Yeah. It is? <laughs> Okay, let me. You'd be the most explain. famous guy <laughs> ever. <laughs> so, Diego, I got my lure snagged, and uh, Diego has helped me get it out. All of a sudden, we changed directions in the boat. He goes flying in, saves my rod, gets the lure out, and everything. Diego's a champ. Shout out to Diego. Super guy. Dude, it, you're too good. Yeah. You're a good guy. Thank you. If it were me, I probably would have dropped the rod and just started swimming, but he was just one arm paddling, but we got him back to the boat. It's all good now. So this is one of those moments that uh, you remember for sure. No dice on the last hole, but probably one of the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen over the mountains. Time to head in and stuff our faces with some delicious food. <laughs> I'm not shaving my own. I don't know if they'll bring it out. Oh yeah, it's right there. Yes. Oh, Popo oh, about to get it. Get you a little bug there, Tuck. Mmm. It's time to wrap this one up. I'm sitting over here on the shoreline 
after we crushed some good food and uh, just had a great night here at this place. It's so amazing. I got awesome news. All of the guys, all the Guggen Squad guys, and including uh, one of the camera guys here, they've broken their personal best records for bass. I'm the only one that has it. I'm so pumped for everybody, and it just shows how incredible this place is. I've never been to a lake like this. You know, the bite hasn't been on fire where it's just like every cast loading up, you know, spots like that. It's more of like, I would, I would compare it to a lake in Texas where the bites, it's on okay, the fish are biting okay, but the size is through the gosh dang roof. I mean, we're catching just six, sevens, eights, almost every day. I've had five eight pounders since I've been here. I'm just looking for that one giant bite. I gotta say, this is the best lake I've ever fished, and we got one more day, and we're about to go hit it right now.